In today's video, we will be diving into the undead king Manwa story. Chapter 1 On the day his parents were killed by monsters, a young boy vowed to become an adventurer. However, the power given to them by God was used to retaliate against the monsters, and the skills were revealed to them before they reached the age of 12, though the exact timing varies. The S ranks are at the top of the adventurers, each with the power of an army thanks to their skill. But the young boy yearned to do heroic deeds like those he heard in fairy tales, so he cried to God to give him power to rid this world of evil, even if only a little, but things didn't go as planned. When the young boy discovered he had a skill, he was so excited that he ran to meet the priest, who referred to him as Chrome. However, when the priest saw Chrome's skill, he told Chrome that with a skill like that, it would be difficult for Chrome to become an adventurer, which shocked Chrome. Three guys were seen walking in a dungeon, but the red-haired guy, Arthur, yelled out to Chrome to pick up his pace, because they were generous enough to hire a skill-less guy like him. But Chrome's skill is the revival skill, which can resurrect one time after dying. So skills are the most important weapon for adventurers. However, a skill that can only save one from death once is of little use to an adventurer. So Chrome ended up living as a third-rate adventurer capable of only doing odd jobs. Despite the fact that he is only a third-rate adventurer, he is proud of it because he also contributes to the protection of his country. When Arthur said that Chrome's sister has a magic skill and still refused to party up with Chrome, and him charged at them. Upon seeing this, Arthur activated his magic skill, Flame Cloak, while the other guy activated his skill, Herculean Strength, as they defeated the imp. They realized it was easy to defeat the imp, except for those cunning imps who were a little difficult to kill when they were running around. Arthur then ordered Chrome to get the magic stones, which Chrome did. At that point, Chrome tried to inform them that they were off the map and needed to hurry back, but he was interrupted by Arthur who yelled at him that he shouldn't dare to tell him what to do. However, at that moment, they discovered that they were surrounded by many bugbears, as they realized that the imp led the bugbears right to them, as they tried fighting the bugbears off, they discovered that there is no end to them. When Arthur noticed that the bugbears were tough and numerous, as well as having a voracious appetite, he suddenly thought of something, as Chrome was seen struggling with a bugbear with his sword. Then, all of a sudden, Arthur pushed Chrome into the pit where the bugbears were, then Arthur told him that it is better for him to die than them and that he also had the revival skill, which allowed him to resurrect. Chrome, however, was taken aback by the sudden turn of events. At that point, the bugbears had already devoured him, ripping him off, and Chrome was engulfed in agony as he struggled to get out of there. The next moment, the system activated the revival skill. Chrome was surprised that he was able to come back to life, but he was wondering how he was going to get out of the deep pit he was in. But he discovered was shocked that his body was only in skeletal form with a piece of flesh and then he also got he can't speak as well. He thought that he was in a dream, but he decided to check his status in the system, which showed that he is now a rank E monster known as White Level 1. When Crumb saw this he was dumbfounded, however, White is a resurrected monster with evil mana within its bones. However, Crumb can think, and he recalled that the priest had said that there is no record of his skill, and that it is not appropriate for an adventurer. Chrome wondered if the reason his physical body was only skeleton was either because of how damaged his body was as a result of the bugbear's attack or as a result of the dungeon's mana, and he thought about how much he had wanted to protect his country only to be given such a defective skill, also about how he was mocked by others for his skill. He believed that his sister was correct about him as well when she advised him to stop being an adventurer because he lacked talent. Despite knowing that only those with strong skills could become high-ranking adventurers, he insisted on continuing to pursue his dream of becoming an adventurer. At that point, he realized that he could evolve if he continued to acquire skills. He might even return to being a human, and that he might become a rank adventurer, which was something he had previously given up on. Chrome reasoned that even though white are weak creatures with no ability to think, he might be able to pull it off because he had the ability to think as a human before, so he decided to check the dungeon's terrains and information about the monsters as well because it wasn't difficult for Chrome to bypass most monsters, due to his appearance. At that moment, he saw a goblin, which is an E-rank monster only at the fourth level. He immediately charged at the goblin with a sneak attack, while the goblin was unaware, killing it in the process. Chrome was then notified by the system that he had advanced from level 1 to level 3. When Chrome realized he had defeated a monster of a higher level than himself, he reasoned that if he could reach the maximum level of the white, which is the fifth level, 
he should be able to evolve. Chapter 2 Chrome was seen as he killed a goblin slug that was only at the first level, he gained XP that was not as much as the goblin he killed previously, so he decided to go after the strong ones in order to speed up his evolution. As he sat down, he felt he did not need rest or food. However, he was concerned that he would forget what it was like to be human because there was no sun in the dungeon and he had lost all sense of time. He thought about his little sister, Kalmia, who might or might not be concerned about him, but he decided that he needed to leave the dungeon and as to how he was to get stronger. He saw a monster called the Red Eye, which is at level 7, but was concerned that he might not be able to defeat it because he was only at level 3. However, he knew that if he could defeat the monster, he could level up more quickly. He decided he could do it because he has human intelligence, so he realized that he can pretend to be dead with his body. At that point, the red eye came over checking if it can see any food. Chrome used the opportunity to strike the monster from behind with his sword. Due to the struggle, they both fell into a deep pit the red eye bit Chrome's arm off, but because he was only a skeleton, he was unable to feel any pain. Chrome then thrust his sword further, killing the monster in the process, and the system informed him that he had reached the fifth level the level at which a white must be before it can evolve. When he saw the level up, he was so excited that he immediately ran to a pond to see which creature he would evolve into, hoping that he would look more human-like. However, at that precise moment, the evolution process ended, turning him into a ghoul. The system then revealed to him that ghouls have dangerous claws and fangs, and that their ability to regenerate is their most terrifying trait. However, contrary to what Chrome had anticipated, he actually looked more human. The level cap for a ghoul is at level 20, so once he reaches that level, he will be able to evolve. He then noticed that his stats had improved and that he had also acquired the skill regeneration, thinking it might be the powerful skill he was hoping for. He believed that by leveling up and evolving, he would revert to being a human and could possibly become the most powerful explorer. Chapter 3 Chrome was seen fighting against a monster rat, a ranked monster, that is at the fifth level, and it was quite difficult for him to hold his sword with his claws to fight the monster rat, so he had to throw his sword away and use his claws to defeat the monster rat, and gained 7 X, which leveled him up to level 6. He checked his stats, thinking that the next evolution is at level 20, which seems quite far to him. He used the regeneration skill to heal his wound. Not long after he became very hungry so he started eating the rat monster. However, he thought that he was becoming more human than when he was a white. A few days later, Chrome was seen fighting an orc, a rank D monster at level 14, and successfully killing it. He gained 33 X from the kill and leveled up from 13 to 14. When he checked his stats, he was happy that he was leveling up at a good pace, thanks to the regeneration skill and not feeling fatigue because he was an undead, as he thought he only had six more levels to reach before he could evolve. Chrome realized he had grown much stronger than his previous self, who was at level 9. Nonetheless, he hoped that in his next evolution, he would become more human. Chrome wondered what his sister, Kalmia, was doing at the moment, as he remembered that he used to get along with her a long time ago. But Kalmia has been barely talking to him some years back now, and because of his skill, he couldn't work properly as an adventurer and didn't earn much, which made it quite difficult to support Kalmia. Unlike Chrome, Kalmia had a magic skill which was suited for an adventurer who was at C-rank adventurer. He remembered that his sister started looking down on him as soon as she started working as an adventurer, till he eventually avoided going home since it had become awkward. He wondered if after all this time, Kalmi was still wondering what had happened to him. He knew that if he went home looking like this, he would be exterminated as he can't speak yet. However, he heard some sound and thought it was a goblin, but when he checked where the sound was coming from, he saw some people ahead, especially his sister Kalmia. Chrome had no idea his sister would come here despite the fact that the dungeon is close to town. He tried to flee, hoping they wouldn't notice him, but then he heard Kalmia's voice, which made him stop and look at them again. Kalmia was seen talking to the young man about why he didn't bring enough salve, to which he replied that he didn't think they'd use it that much, but the other young lady also told Kalmia that they didn't know how much it was, because they were using an opaque bag. But Kalmia didn't listen to them as she continued that what were they going to do if they got bitten by a monster? and that how could she trust someone who didn't prepare very well to have her back? Hearing this, the young man became angry, saying that both him and the young lady agreed to help Kalmia on such a short notice. When Chrome saw Kalmia bickering, he realized she was the same as usual even in the dungeon, thinking that she didn't have to be so harsh to them even though she was right. 
Chrome accidentally scratched his claw against the wall, causing Kalmia and the others to notice him. Kalmia then used her staff to create ice arrows, revealing that she is a skilled user of ice magic. As she attacked Chrome, who was now a ghoul, the ice arrows injured his arm. So when Kalmia and others could see him clearly, they realized that he was a ghoul. Chapter 4 Chrome noticed that the explorers had found him. They just have to crush it in one go. The young man, Direct Dean, who is level 14, responded. However, Kalmia, who is now level 18, warned them that if they rush at the ghoul, they are bound to get hurt and that they need to corner the ghoul with safe attacks first before crushing it in one go. The young lady, Lena Lilane, who is level 15, said the ghouls have a healing skill. Chrome realized he had made a mistake when he looked at their statistics because he couldn't even hold his own against one of them, let alone fight three of them at once. Chrome was shocked that Kalmia had become much stronger and as he thought he needed to flee, Direct charged at him using his skill, Scorching Slash, a skill that cloaks weapon in flames at the same time. Lena used her skill, Light Body, which made her movement quite fast. She struck her sword at Chrome who blocked with his arm. He realized that he couldn't escape given their difference in levels, and he didn't want to attack humans. At that moment, Direct charged over. When Chrome saw this, he kicked a stone at Direct, however. Direct was surprised when he saw this. At that moment, Chrome rushed over and punched Direct at the jaw, since he can't use his claws. Chrome then attempted to flee, believing that chasing monsters deeper into the dungeon is forbidden, and that they would not follow him if he got far enough. Lena charged over to prevent Chrome from fleeing, but she was caught by Chrome, who grabbed her sword and flung it against the wall, causing it to become stuck. Kalmia then aimed her ice arrows at Chrome's legs, paralyzing him. Lena praised Kalmia as the Ice Princess Kalmi. When she saw the attacks, Chrome knew he was going to die at this rate, so he tried to get up but couldn't because his thighs had been gouged out. He immediately used his regeneration skill to heal himself, and he was able to run again in the next minute. Kalmia aimed her staff at him, forming ice lances to finish him off, so he knew he didn't have that luxury. Chapter 5 Chrome realized he might be killed by his sister when he saw this because he couldn't flee due to his injured legs. Chrome knew he needed to do something about the spell so that he could recover so he grabbed his throat and tried to call her name, which startled Kalmia and caused her attack to miss Chrome. But Chrome was glad that his strategy had worked. But Direct was angry that Kalmia missed at point-blank range. But Kalmia was shocked that the ghoul knew her name. But Chrome stood up at that moment and rushed at Kalmia, who became startled and fell to the ground. Seeing this, Chrome took advantage of the opportunity to flee. Kalmia then realized she'd been duped by a monster. However, he considered his brother who bore a striking resemblance to the ghoul, and hoped that she had misheard. Chrome was seen panting as he sat down, thinking about how close he was to being killed back there. He had no idea he'd be corned by three high-leveled adventurers, but he was glad he had the regeneration skill. He concluded that he needed to keep an eye out for adventurers while searching for monsters. He then looked at them again from his hiding place, and discovered that they were going in the opposite direction he was, but he realized that they were going into the deeper parts of the dungeon. But normal people can't stay in the dungeon for a long time, not only because they get tired both physically and mentally, but there's another reason, which is that the thick mana in the dungeon is poisonous to humans. So that's why humans need strategies with a large margin for error when entering the dungeons. Even though he didn't want them to find him again, he decided to keep a safe distance from them because he was concerned that adventurers of their level would be in danger if they ventured into the dungeon's doubts. Kalmia and the others came across an adventurer's corpse on the ground. However, Kalmia checked the corpse before proceeding. However, Direk and Lena were surprised that Kalmia was still heading deeper into the dungeon. Kalmia had assured them that there would be no problem if they worked together and did not rush in like before. Chrome was surprised that Kalmia was still heading deeper into the dungeon, as the truly powerful monsters are found much further in because they prefer the dense mana, so adventurers must be prepared for the unexpected. He also wondered why Kalmia was in such a hurry, as he assumed she was the rational type. When Chrome saw an ogre, a C-rank monster at level 22, he knew there would be an irregular, especially monsters above level 20, which are supposed to only be in the deepest part of the dungeon.